A woman who was beaten by a group of men in a heinous attack in Harlem is sharing her story. And as she struggles to recover two years later, she tells CBS 2's Lisa Rosner that she says she feels abandoned by the agencies who promised to help her. This block changed my life. It was January 18th, 2021. It's like I see myself. Asking for help. Catherine Taylor walked into this liquor store on West 128th Street to buy a bottle of wine after work. Have a long day, you know, you want to unwind. You don't want to go out and be attacked. All because she says she declined an offer by these men to pay for her wine. When she left, video showed a group surround her, chase her across the street, and kick her. Taylor says the man in the red coat, Tyrone Cooper, who was later arrested, tried to bite her eye. Two other men police were looking for were never caught. Her case garnered a lot of attention. Grammy winning rapper T.I. shared our coverage of the attack. Women. And protesters rallied. Taylor says it fell on deaf ears. She says after the incident, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office told her that not only would they get the individuals who did it to me, but that I would have access to great therapists. A lot of the places, they didn't take the insurance that I had at the time. She was also told she'd be reimbursed for items stolen and damaged during the crime. Taylor showed us receipts sent to the DA for forwarding to the State Office of Victim Services, or OVS, for her stolen iPhone and a new coat since hers was bloodied. Because of the emotional trauma, she says she lost her job and home and was told she could submit receipts for moving expenses. Two years later, she says she's received no financial or mental health support from the city or state. It would have went a long way to have that phone call that just said, hey, are you okay? I had to reach out to them and the person at the district attorney's office had told me that the OVS case had been closed. She didn't have an explanation of why it was closed. I absolutely felt like I was just another young black mother, another young black face in Harlem. That something tragic had happened to. As for why it has taken so long for Taylor to get a response, the State Office of Victim Services told me all claims are confidential, so it cannot comment on this case. A spokesperson said that in general, upon receiving all required receipts and documentation, OVS reimburses a victim or their provider within 30 days. Since we reached out for this story, Taylor says a rep from the DA called her to apologize and get her case reopened. I feel extremely let down. It's extremely unsafe. My life came crumbling down after that incident. It's important that people understand that as when you go through things, as a victim, it's not just what you go through. Your life falls apart afterwards. And as she pieces hers together, Taylor hopes to start a nonprofit helping victims find therapy and get financial support so they never feel as alone as she did. In Harlem, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. The Manhattan DA's office says that an advocate is in communication with Taylor and adds that staffer did submit timely compensation requests to the state. As for the suspect arrested, he was found unfit for trial this past November and remains in a hospital.